good morning hi guys welcome back to my channel i just thought i would vlog my weekend and potentially my week you know might stop it today might stop it tomorrow might never stop I'm trying to get back into my like youtube groove and i just thought we could spend a chill day together i've just had some breakfast i have been loving the bio and me granola but anyway yeah so it's a saturday today i don't actually know what i'm gonna do with my day i'm seeing my friend tonight and we're like going to a bar and whatever i do need to like wash my hair and stuff but i hate washing my hair having an everything shower and being all clean to then put makeup on go to a grotty bar and then come back and like double cleanse and stuff i don't think i'm gonna like wash my hair just yet i think i might just leave it to marinate for one more day hey guys just a little update um i read my book oh i hit myself in the face i finished my book this is twisted love by anna huang i don't know if that's how you pronounce it <laughs> i keep hitting myself in the face great book thoroughly recommend i would rate this a four out of five stars um, and I've also got the series which is on my lap. I was just figuring out which one's next, but it's Twisted Games. I think I'm gonna get dressed, pack my little bag, go find a cafe, read some of my book. Hi guys, I'm just ready to go out. I spent a while picking my skin, which was really nice of me. Um, love that. So now that's all done, I'm ready to go. I still don't know where I'm going. This is H&M, this is Goose and Gander. These h&m they're joggers i will leave the link down below if you are a sh short girl if you have short legs um i'm 5'4 but like i have short legs like my torso is quite long these perfect length perfect length i've bought them in every single color i bought another gray pair last night because i want to be able to like chill in some do errands and some you know it looks like i'm in a bit of a black hole right now but i'm not i'm at school and i have got a Mediterranean chicken bowl, a daily sweet greens juice, and a vitamin D shot, which is orange, ginger, and turmeric. Hey guys, I am back now. I'm just going to quickly show you the sunset because it's so pretty. anything too exciting in central went to pure as i said and i had a mediterranean chicken bowl green juice and it also had a turmeric and ginger shot i literally went from there to holland and barrett and back and from holland and barrett i bought some new granola which i have almost eaten um already and then i got some coconut milk plenish they didn't have any almonds so i was just like oh that's fine i got some cod liver oil because we need our mega three so i'm just gonna take that and then in holland and barrett this happens to me every single time but i just end up buying loads of herbal teas because i was just gonna get a chamomile and spearmint because i needed some more spearmint tea and like i'm always making videos about herbal teas as well so like i need the physical boxes and i've just kind of got like tea bags left so i just went in to get that well it was three for two wasn't it so then i also got a lemon and ginger and a turmeric ginger and galangal roots i mean i don't need these two because i have got loads of turmeric and loads of lemon and ginger but i'm seeing my friend later i'm going to her house and then we're going to a bar. So I'm not really sure if there's much to update you on. I did start my new book and it was not at all what I've been expecting. I'm only like here, but I thought it was gonna be about the same characters. Cause in the first book, um, there's like basically like the love interests and then there's just like a girl that has a bodyguard. But then this is about the girl and the bodyguard, like the side characters. I was so invested into the couple and now it's not about them so hopefully this goes well but i mean it makes sense because she's royalty and there's a crown on there but yeah i just need to kind of tidy up because i always get myself into a little bit of a mess but yeah that's all that's all from me and i'll chat to you in a bit good morning good morning good morning it is sunday today i went out last night as i said i was seeing my friend and she told me we were going to a bar She's, she's American, poor girl. She doesn't know the difference between a pub and a bar. We were at a pub. It was really good. Um, it was like, not like a, I think it was kind of a student pub, but there was also like, it was just like a young vibe. And it was a hostel as well. There was a hostel downstairs. So it was very sociable. It was in 
yeah, I met some weird people, but like it was good. And today I'm going to Notting Hill with Alex because I was just talking to her about Notting Hill last night saying like, oh, she needs to go to this um, like thrift store. And she was like, I've never been to Notting Hill. I was like, you joking? Like, let's just go tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll update you in a bit. I'm ready to go. Uh, very like comfy basic. I've got shoes everywhere. This is from Asta. I've put a little bow in my hair. I've also put bows on the back of my up. Gonna hop on the tube to Notting Hill and have a lovely day. I'll bring you along though. Good morning, happy Monday. I just unpackaged my new shoes. I'm gonna give you five seconds to guess what I got. Okay. Am I basic? Yes. Are they gorgeous? Also, yes, I got the Sambas. I'm gonna go to uni today. I don't know if I've given you an update. I haven't given you an update on here. It's because like some of my family and friends still don't know what's going on. And I feel weird about talking about it on here. I'll let everyone know before this uploads, don't worry. Basically, I'm dropping out of uni. So I do nutrition at uni. Um, which has been, you know, like helpful with my social media because I talk a lot about like diet and health and whatever. But I just don't have time to be doing them both. And I'm like so lucky I'm in like the position to be able to go full time with social media. So I will speak to you a bit. Oh my God, I've been speaking for nine minutes. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. So the bag I'm taking is obviously a free soul women's wellness bag. I genuinely think I have got at least like seven of these they're everywhere <laughs> along with the bloody shakers like there's always one at arm's length without a lid first thing we're gonna pack headphones these are sony next thing we're gonna pack is my laptop i love this laptop it's the one that's got the fingerprint also this is my vision board isn't it lovely obviously we're packing a vaseline everywhere with us so i'm tempted to take my gymshark bag instead or is that like overkill of grey. I mean this is handy because I can zip it up and there's compartments but this one's giving cute vibes. Maybe I go with oh, Millie I'm trying to be professional. I'm gonna pack my moisturiser. This comes everywhere with me. Like when I was in Australia I was fine in the day. The winter my skin like my skin is not even like dry. It's I would say it's more like combo to normal but Oh my god, it gets so dry in the winter. This is the Oatin Calming Gel Cream from Purito. I'll link any skincare and... Yeah, I might just link everything down below. I might link the outfits, might link the jewellery, might link the headphones, might link the bag. But this comes everywhere with me. So I've got 2024 goals and I can tick some off. I can tick that one off. I can tick that one off, that one off. Oh my god, so sexy! pack my new book which is twisted games by anna huang oh my god last night i started watching one day on netflix if you need a new series recommendation it is perfect the episodes are 30 minutes long it was set initially well it's not set in 1988 it like goes forward like every year from there but like it's so funny it got the best storyline like i absolutely love it i started watching it last night at like 11 o'clock maybe even after that and i'm on episode six now but oh my god it's so good it's so fun you need to watch it if you haven't watched it it's a lovely day today but i don't want to get cold so i'm just gonna go with the gray vibes and put on another gray hoodie stunning okay i will speak to you later <laughs> So, <laughs> I went, also it's beautiful weather at the moment. I just need to take a picture of this for my Instagram story, let everyone know I'm weekly vlogging. Anyway, so I went to do some work. Um, as I said, went to the Pure, no, it's not a coffee shop, like a cafe, got some lunch. I got a chicken shawarma. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled so i'm assuming shawarma not sure though um 
had that did quite a lot of work to be fair i started editing this weekly vlog um bought like my train ticket sorted out my rail card um answered like whatsapps and stuff sorted out my weekly plan for this week chased up some stuff i needed to chase so was successful from me do you know it was successful though shopping that i didn't need to do so i went into bershka and i bought two things so whilst i was away this isn't what i bought but whilst i was away i went to cotton on and bought literally so many of these tops and i realized i love white tops and then i got a little like t-shirt top that was white and had a really scoop neck like back and it was so cute and i realized i love tops like that and i couldn't find any similar so i got this one but it's like but it's short sleeved because the other one was it stops there but this is like no sleeves scoop back gorgeous bershka got it in an extra small £11.99 so £11.99 I didn't need to spend and then I got this looks very basic but it's like kind of ruched on the side but it's got a split I think it would just look so nice with some jeans and I'm really getting into more of like my modest outfits or like outfits that I can dress up and dress down but as in like make smart and then make like fun you know like I could wear this to a meeting but I could also wear it on a night out you know I'm building my capsule wardrobe you could literally see yourself in my forehead I'm sorry there's nothing I can do about it I'm just gonna sit here and read some of my book I did read some of my book on the way home I thought I would just quickly show you my new clothes on because I haven't tried them on yet. Cute. Oh, that's really cute. Wait, have I got a tan line there? Oh no, it's because I've been up against the wall. I was like, what is that come from? But also, I just love wearing white at the moment because it makes my tan look more tanned. Whereas like in the winter, I don't like, even though it's technically winter now, but you know what I mean, when I'm not got a tan. I find it makes me look like I'm wearing nothing so I'm that pale but at the moment it's making me look like I've got a bit of colour even though like the inside of my arms aren't very tanned but my stomach always holds colour. And then we've got to try on this one. I've just made my joggers really low so you can see the full effect but oh my god it's so cute. Imagine over a pair of like nice jeans. Do you know what it is about these tops? I feel like it's because it gives the illusion of like a dress. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, and like everyone loves dresses, but like I'm personally not a dress girl. Like because I've got such, it's not even because I'm short, it's because my legs are so short. I just find them really like stubby. That's why I'm not a dress girly. However, I feel like this gives like dressy up vibes, but you can wear trousers with it. As I said earlier, I'm trying to like find clothes that are multi-purpose. I could go to a meeting in this with a blazer on or I could go on a night out <laughs> kidding <laughs> kidding but yeah I'm going to bed now well actually no I still need to pack <sighs> I still need to pack to go home <sighs> my train is at 7 a.m tomorrow morning I have not woken up before nine in weeks and I've got to wake up at six <laughs> anyway I better go on with it bye morning guys it's way too early <laughs> alexa what time is it the time is it's 6 40 in the morning it's dark like bear in mind i've already been up for like 20 minutes actually i would have got course past six like am i all right honestly i used to be such an early bird but like in the winter when it's dark we're we gonna fall in the winter when it's dark i cannot hack it I woke up literally like <gasps> to my alarm because the only reason I would be up at this time is if there was some kind of air raid siren going off. But anyway, I'm up. I mean, I'm trying to eat. I, I don't know why I keep buying this. I don't like it. It's literally, it's called granola, but it's cashews, almonds and coconuts. It's literally cashews, almonds and coconut. Like, it's really difficult to, drink, uh, to eat with milk, like... 
I feel like a bird. I don't know if I said, yeah, I think I did. I'm going home today, I've got some ads to film. My room's an absolute mess, I've got rubbish everywhere. So what I like to do is get a cardboard box and just chuck everything in there and then I'll deal with it when I get back. <laughs> My hair is so disgustingly greasy, like I'm gonna wash it when I go home today. Oh, hallelujah. But yeah, that's kind of all, um, all the words of wisdom I have this morning. So I'm back home now. I've filmed the video that I came home basically for and our family friend is here at the moment and it's so exciting to see her. So we've just been spending some time with her. Um, I'm just going to film some like casual like my normal videos. Yeah, I just filmed a video with these products and like this was an ad. Like let me show you. So I just filmed an ad with the Cosrx um, Good Morning Cleanser, Harry Harry Wonder, Muggle Essence, my favourites, sunscreen and my favourite moisturiser and I just feel so lucky that like I've just been able to film an ad for a brand and they didn't even give me a brief. They were just like we love your content just like make sure to mention that this is where you bought them from and it's just like these are like i don't know i just feel so grateful that like brands that i already love support me back anyway yeah so i'm just gonna for the rest of the day do some editing i'm gonna edit this weekly vlog I'm gonna edit some more videos for like my second tiktok second instagram account because i made an instagram account this week and i'm trying to like put out some like lifestyle-y content just because as i mentioned earlier in the vlog i am leaving uni so i wanna i don't know just like share more of my life as I get more free time to be able to do that. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go and make some lunch because it's now like two o'clock or something. And, and yeah, I'm feeling good today. I feel like I'm in a very good headspace. I need to have a shower tonight and wash my hair. I'm so excited. My hair has so much like wax in it. It's literally like disgusting, but yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Good evening. So I am at home now. Um, I Oh, I, you already know I'm at home because I spoke to you earlier, but it's the evening now. So it's the 13th of January, so it's Valentine's Day today, and it was also pancake day. I'll show you my pancakes. Insert photo, I made heart pancakes. Um, I won't lie, I've not had the most amazing day. I just got a bit of fun time now, but I'm just going to make my magnesium hot chocolate because magnesium is good for sleep and also just for chilling out. I finally washed my hair. I'm not gonna lie guys, I didn't wash it for like 10 days. I mean, they say train your hair, but that was a bit extreme. This is the magnesium hot chocolate that I have. And if you wanna have the best sleep of your life, get this. I do have a code with them, which I think is just Millie in capitals, M-I-L-L-I-E. And it gives you 25% off actually, <laughs> crazy. Literally all of my discount codes are like 10% off, 25%. But this is what it looks like. It just looks like hot chocolate. And you just use a spoon of it, like this. Put it into a little mug. And you can use water or milk, just like with a regular hot chocolate, but I can't be bothered to warm up some milk right now, so we're using hot water. And honestly, I have, it's not even that I sleep for longer, it's I sleep deeper, like I feel more well rested the day after, and it really helps my anxiety as well. Give it a little stir. But yeah, I'm now just going to go and finish watching the rest of Love Island. The break is just about to finish. My plan was to go back to London tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm going to do that, I'm not sure. I'm really trying to focus on my mental health because after Australia, I felt amazing. And then I think I've just been overworking myself again. All I want to do is like escape, which is why I was looking at flights to Australia earlier. But I need to actually like integrate behaviours into my everyday life that mean that I don't get burnt out and I know how to balance work with life. I'm just going to go enjoy Love Island and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Good morning lovelies, it is Valentine's Day today, it is the 14th of February. I was meant to be seeing Emily this morning, I don't know if I mentioned that, but she's got like a meeting in uni or something, so we're just gonna 
I'm just gonna see her another time. But it's a good job because I didn't wake up early enough anyway. And also my nail. I can't find it. It came off yesterday and I can't find it anywhere. I did forget to say my nan got me a cute Valentine's Day card. They send them every single year and they always just say like from question mark. And I got a little H&M voucher. Hey guys, but yeah, I've just had some porridge. I'm just answering some emails. I do have some more work to do, so I'm not gonna go home today. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna go home tomorrow. I might go home on the weekend. But yeah, I was just packing some giveaway parcels. I had a DM from a girl on TikTok being like, hi, I know you've been doing giveaways, but she's basically doing a tombola for a hospital that she works at. She might work at it or she might just be like on the event side of it, not sure. But I think it's a hospital in Liverpool. And she was like, would you like to send any donations? Like no pressure. And I was like, oh my God, of course, like send me the address. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I've put in it because we're all here because we like skincare, I'm assuming. <laughs> so I've put in this cleansing balm. Um, this is the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. Super cute. I'd show you it, but obviously all the packaging is on everything still. And then I put the Thayer's Facial Toner with Witch Hazel in. Um, this is just kind of like, I wanted to just send something extra. Um, I sent the Nivea Derma Skin Clear Toner with salicylic acid and niacinamide. I sent a number seven comforting clean comforting cream cleanser, the Ren Evercalm, the Thayer's pH balancing daily cleanser with aloe vera, the Ren Ready Steady Glow daily AHA tonic, the Lancome Regenery a 300 peptide cream, and finally the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30. I wanted to just put in a few products that like people might see and be like, oh my god, I've seen that on TikTok. But I don't know if I mentioned this morning, I'm assuming I did, but last night I was up until like three in the morning watching One Day, the Netflix program that I've been talking about during this vlog. I finished it last night, gobsmacked, crying, tears streaming down my face in the middle of the night. Like I started last night on episode six and I finished all 14 episodes and they're like 35 minutes each. I was up for hours and hours and hours straight watching them, watching them, watching them crying. If you need something to watch, watch that, but it's a limited series. So there's not gonna be a season two or anything. Well, there couldn't be a season two after how it ended, but like, honestly. Good morning, guys. I'm just about to organize my skincare because there's a lot of mess, but I'm also gonna film a TikTok, so you can watch me. <laughs> So tidy i'm just about to send out a giveaway parcel um and i've also got some products because i'm going to go to where my sister works because there's a girl there that's struggling with her skin so i'm going to drop off some products for her as well but yeah i just need to get some bubble wrap maybe hey guys i'm back just dropped my parcel off it's gorgeous weather today look what i'm wearing this is all I'm wearing and I'm warm. It's 18 degrees. Yeah, I'm very happy about it being nice and sunny. I've just been listening to Tate McRae's album, of course. I think the album, is that album called X's? I'm not sure. But, oh God, I've been listening to it for literal weeks and weeks and weeks and I'm not gonna stop now. But yeah, going to my sister's work now. Hey guys, it is half past five. It's the same day. I just haven't really vlogged that much because nothing exciting is going on. Like I'm just at home. Um, I've now finished edit. well, I haven't finished editing the video because I don't know when I'm going to end it, but I've edited it up until now, and this was like four hours of footage, and that is only 25 minutes. This has taken me like four, five hours to do, but I really enjoy editing, like, I did YouTube when I was younger, like, I just had a little passion for it. I don't know if I've mentioned in this vlog, I am so ill, I've been ill for like the past three days with like a migraine my ears are killing like cold cough and it's disgusting like I hate being ill but I just filmed a how to clear your skin overnight video which was really helpful for me to film because I did all of the things that you would do 
and those things all like really help your immune system and stuff like I just did turmeric ginger shots and garlic and teas and stuff but yeah I don't know if I'm gonna go home tomorrow the briefs I don't know if I said this but I was waiting the reason I'm here and I've stayed here is because I haven't been sent the briefs for the videos I've got to do it's basically if like you guys aren't into social media or like you don't know what that means basically when there's an ad for you to do so for example what's one that's gone live so for example last month I did a mixoon video with my favorite bean essence ever and basically what they say to you is just like here are a few like talking points so you'd say like you can use it as an exfoliator and an essence or you'd say like it's an alternative to snail mucin like they just give you some talking points or something like that like you have to wait for the briefs before you film the video and i've got like five videos to film but I have no briefs, so I can't film the five videos, but those videos are all going up whilst I'm in Paris next week, so I have no time to film them other than whilst I'm at home, but obviously it's Friday tomorrow, well, not obviously, you probably have no idea what day it is for me, but it's Friday tomorrow, so if I don't get the brief by tomorrow, I'm not going to get it, because obviously they don't work on the weekends, and I'm going to Paris on Monday. I'm really just kind of hoping <laughs> it all goes well, um and I get the briefs tomorrow I can film it all and then it's like yay that's done I'll talk to you in a little bit probably but I'm just going to continue to edit this I thought I'd just quickly show you my dinner I'm having cod coconut rice and green beans and tender stem broccoli I just realized I haven't showed you literally like any meals this whole vlog and I think I've got food around my mouth so just ignore that hi guys I am really ill so I'm just gonna make this quick but it is Friday today and I'm just going to sign off this vlog because I really want it to go up tonight. I know it wasn't the most interesting thing ever, but this is just what a week in my life looks like. So if you think it's boring, at least you're not me. Do you know what I mean? Obviously it's Friday today. Um, on Monday, I'll be starting my Paris vlog for you all, which will hopefully be up by Friday. I hope. But Monday to Thursday, I'm in Paris until the Thursday night. Friday morning I've got Pilates with Free Soul and Gymshark which, and Joe and the Juice which I'm really excited about so I will try and include that in the vlog properly probably although at those events I only ever really get like clips I never like talking to the vlog that much so it might be easier to um, include that in my Paris vlog but yeah I have got some huge things coming up like literally just this morning I've got the biggest opportunities given to me there's so many fun events coming up, like I cannot wait to bring you along with me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that in to let you know what's coming next. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? See you next week. <laughs>